Hello, Wilfredo. How are you?
tonight. Good evening. Okay, guys. Meanwhile, your classmates get into the class. I have this exercise for you. In this exercise, you have to take the highlighter and you need to um, mark uh, the words that you have downed the word research. For example, you have to find out battery life, can, dimensions, functions, has, have, magnitude, mainly, many, much, price, quantity, shipping, warranty, and weight. All these words are in this word research. So please take, click on the highlighter and start getting or trying to get the words that we have. Okay, we have the first one, many. Thank you. So we have has to, can, size, Okay, help Mateo. Okay, mailing Rose. Okay, good. Any other one? Shipping. Yes. Battery life. <laughs> yes. Store. Okay, warranty. Wait. Yes. We are missing only price, storage, and dimensions. Okay, function. Okay, good. Osvaldo.
we're missing on in storage and okay price done quantity done so we're missing on in storage Okay, the mention. And storage. That is the only one that is missing, right? Ah, in half, yes. Ah, la última ya lo busqué y no la encuentro. The storage. <laughs> Me too. We cannot find storage. How you did it. <laughs> oh my God. Excellent. Okay. So he did it. Okay. Good. Good eye, Matthew. <laughs> yeah. Because that one, I couldn't get it. Okay. This is, um, in a way, vocabulary that we have been studying through the whole unit, unit one, right? And I have already started with this because um, the way that we are going to work for today's class, <clears throat> it is going to be mainly, uh, we are going to have like a, a general review from the, from the unit one. We are going to highlight some grammar points, some exercises, but later, you are going to put into practice most most of the exercises. Yes, Berta, we can see you. Okay, we can see you. <clears throat> and so, this is the first exercise that we have for today's class. As I said, we are going to practice a lot in this. Now we are going to change. I am going to close the whiteboard. Thank you very much for participating. We are moving from this to my presentation. Let me see. Okay. So what do we have for today's class? Well, this is our lesson five. This is the last day of the week. And this is mainly for a review and practice. So we are going to have a, like a general review. And we have already done this exercise. This is what we have already finished. And now I want to study just with a general way about the usage that we have for how much and how many. Here in a general way, I know that we have already studied, <clears throat> but since this is a, um, a review, as I said, well, we have here just the grammar points that we need to follow in order to know how to use how much. Immediately when we uh, read how much, we need to understand that a countable noun is following the expression how much. How much, for example, time. How much, money. How much, sugar. How much, paper, 
How much? Milk. Teacher. Yes. Eh, pero el tiempo sí se puede, bueno, se puede medir, no es lo mismo que poder contarlo. Ah, ok. How much time? For example, the question says, how much time do we have to finish the test? The word time is uncountable. But in the answer, you're going to say two hours. Countable hours, minutes. But the word time, you are not going to say it in the answer. Okay, you have two times. Right? It is exactly with money. You say, how much money did you spend in the party? I spent uh, $500. $500. I am saying the answer, but using the unit, the currency, dollars. But I'm not saying I spent 500 money. Right? So right. that is what happens with time too. Time okay. is in general. Good. Okay, thank you. When traffic, it is the same. Remember that traffic, it is in a general way. Right? So we say, hey, <clears throat> how much time was there on the way to work? I was really crowded. Right? But traffic, meal, all of them are uncountable now. And it is related, that is quantity. We are looking for a quantity. The answers, in the answers, we can include countable nouns. But in the equation, it is in a general way. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now let us continue with this. When we want to say price, remember that any time we include price, it is how much. And we can ask price in different ways. In different ways, I can ask the price. For example, how much is that painting? Maybe, maybe, usted pensaría, Pero el painting, los shoes, jacket, dress, son countable. Yes or not? Yes, yes. right? Y entonces, ¿por qué estoy utilizando how much with countable nouns? Because you don't know the price. Because you want to know price. You are not counting, you are not interested in the quantity of the products, like two pairs of shoes, four pairs of shoes. No, you want to know the price. How much it is price and price, whenever you want to know it, it is with how much. So it doesn't matter if it is countable or uncountable. Because immediately when you say, hey, how much is that painting? It is different if I say how much time, how much money. In this one, la palabra price va implicita. Because then we say, how much is that painting? How much are those shoes? How much? did your jacket cost price how much okay. is the dress on the display in the window how much will it cost me how much does it cost all of them all these questions are asking price so that's why in any of them i can say how many are those shoes no how much? 
price. How many with, for example, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Ah, that is different. Because you say, how many pairs of shoes do you have? How many pairs of shoes do you want to buy? How many pairs of uh, of of socks do you have? Or how many jackets do you have? It is different because I am interested in the product indeed, not in the price. But here, I am interested in the price. The price. In the price of the product, but I'm not interested in the quantity of the products. Yes, and that is okay. the difference. And here we have the how many. With how many, the same as how much we have here. How many, and then we need to have Plural noun. Plural. plural noun, but in this case, they have to be countable. Countable. And that is the reason why I have how many days, how many people, how many cousins, how many books, how many countries, how many students, how many chairs, how many pieces. I am not interested in the price of these objects, of these products. I am interested in the quantity of the products. And that's why I have here quantity. That is my main point. What is the quantity of this product? And in here, I have to use plurals. I cannot say how many they or how many person, cousin, book, country. All of them have to be in plural way. Okay. Now in the answers, how many days are there in January? How many days are there in January? Uh, 21. Okay. In January, 21? No, sure. Th 31. Okay, 31, not there 21. Aha. Uh -huh. There Era. are 20, 20, 31 days okay. in January. Okay, there are 20, <laughs> and I'm repeating, there are 30 days in, in January. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we are repeating and repeating the same thing. And then uh, in, my, in my answer, I have to include a quantity, okay? I need to say a number because that is the main point in these questions, quantity. If I say, how many books did you buy? You need to mention a quantity. How many books did you buy? Mm, I bought five books. But it is, this, it is not the same if I say, how much did your books cost? Uh, $15. Uh -huh. I'm talking about price, not the quantity of the books, just the price. Yes. Okay. And that is the okay. big difference that we have. And as I was telling you, as we said in the price, sometimes we omit the words like price, right? I said, for example, here I say omitting the noun. Often the noun is omitted in the question when it is obvious that what we are talking about. For example, because we have an antecedent, we have previous information, remember, remember. 
And then in the conversation, this is like a, a, a conversation that then I have. I would like to buy some cheese, says letter A. And letter B, answer. How much would you like? Okay. But no, letter, cheese. Uh -huh, letter B didn't repeat cheese because letter B understood that he is talking about cheese. That is the word. So I'm not saying, ¿Y cuánto queso quieres? Okay, no. ¿Y cuánto quieres? Right? That's it. Yeah. You, we don't repeat it. Again, the noun cheese is not necessary after how much since we already know. But the clue here is Cuando dice ahí, because we already know that we are talking about cheese. But, si me encuentro una oración, sin tener esta information before, and the question says, how much would you like? Do you understand what we are talking about? How much no. what? We don't know, right? Because I don't have previous information. So in that question, I have to say, how much cheese would you like? Cheese or any other uncountable noun. I need to include it. No puede quedar así if I don't have previous information. Okay. And here I have more examples. For example, I need some coins. How many do you need? How many coins do you need? Now, how many do you need? I need some sugar. How much sugar do you need? This is countable and this is uncountable. But we have done exactly the same. We just omitted the noun in both because we have previous information. One it is coins and the other one is sugar. Right? Right. And then the, we have this exercise in which we need to practice how much, how much or how many. Now let's see. Number one, remember uh, yesterday's exercises with answers, equations, so this is exactly the same, but taking into account that my equations have to be related using how much or how many. And we need to uh, be very careful because we need to take into account countable and uncountable nouns. If we don't take into account that, it is going to be diffi difficult to choose which is the correct how much or how many? Let us answer the first one. I have 50 boxes. Okay. I have 50 boxes of the bread. First, boxes, plural. But now, oh. now I need to, to oh. see what am I interested in? In the quantity many of the of the boxes or in the price of the boxes? Uh, the boxes. Okay. Quantity or price? Qu quantity. Quantity. Okay. Quantity. That is quantity. Because I saying I'm saying I have fifty boxes Position. of thread. So what is my question? How many? How many? How many boxes? Boxes. Do you have how many boxes do you have? How many boxes do you have? Boxes the key of, of three. How, uh, uh -huh. how many boxes of three do you have? Okay, I have 50 boxes uh, of thread. And let us what is the meaning of thread, teacher? What Sorry. is a thread? 
um thread for example um do you are you a tailor or a seamstress tailor machine dress pants and you are sewing Hello. you need the thread okay okay you okay. need the thread that's what we have okay that is for number one what about number two they have some floor cleaners. How much floor, floor cleaners? Floor cleaners. Floor cleaners. They have some floor cleaners. Do we want to know price or quantity? Quantity. So, if it is quantity, I cannot say how much. How much? How many? Okay. How, how many, many? How many floor cleaners they have? Um. How many do they have? Um. Okay. Do they have? Ah, uh, they have some floor cleaners not very specific just saying some maybe five maybe six maybe three some the next one he needs ahora ya cambio el verbo vea he needs mm -hmm. two gallons of gas for the lift do you remember what is lift Um, es no, la ma okay. Es la máquina que ayuda a how 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 many gallons of gas do you need to lift for the lift for the lift. Recuérdense que la lift es aquella máquina que le ayuda a levantar the product. Uh, ah, okay, that is, carga en español. that's it. A eso es que le van a echar el gas. That's why he says. ¿Cómo es la equation entonces? ¿Cómo lo dijo Osvaldo? Think, I think. How many? Ajá. Uh -huh. How many gallons of gas for the lift do you need? How many gallons of gas for the lift do you need? El for the lift lo vamos a dejar al final. How many gallons of gas do you need, need for the lift? For the lift. Okay. Yeah. How many gallons of gas? Number four. We want six packs of butter bars. Want six packs butter bars. Price or quantity? Quantity. Quantity. Okay. And the quantity, you see, it is countable. So it is going to be? How many? How many? How many packs? Pack? Butter bars. How many do you need? How many? How many packs of butter packs bars? Of butter bars. Uh, do you uh -huh. want? Do you want? Okay. Yes, because this is a verb. Ah, uh, we want six packs of butter bars. And the last one. Price or quantity? Quantity. Quantity. So if it is a quantity. But it's uncountable. Okay, good. Because immediately identify that it is uncountable. So my question will be. How 
How much? How, how much water do they need? Okay. How much water do they need? Or we can say, how much water do Ana and Hugo need? Need. ¿Por qué tendríamos que incluir Ana and Hugo in the equation? And instead of saying they, aunque eh, tiene toda la razón, I can substitute they. But there is one reason que me dice que es mejor decir Ana en Hugo. Because you have the answer with Ana en Hugo. Aha, but also, if you have a question, in the question you have the very specific information. En la respuesta es donde yo podría substitute, and then I can say, ah, they need a lot of water. They. ¿Por qué? Porque en la pregunta ya se utilizó the antecedent, the information, it is Ana and Hugo. So in the answer, yeah. I can say they, they need a lot of water. Pero en la respuesta, han dejado a Ana en Hugo para darle la idea that you have to use it in the equation, right? Right. Okay, guys. Let's continue. Then we are going to have like a review also about have to or don't have to. Have to or don't have to. Let's see, let us think about your job in this moment. Think about your job. And think about your obligations. Ahora, write down in the chat box one obligation that you have. One obligation that you have. Escríbame la oración completa. I have to, and then continue with the sentence in the chat box. Please. Ok, Osvaldo. I have to send some emails tomorrow. Very good. I have to visit farmers every day. Ok. I have to recollect tickets of stand of the shop. Ok. This is one of your obligations, right? Right. I have to go early to work uh, from, from Monday to Friday. With a period, we say from. I have to make five contracts for Monday. Okay. I have to check reports every day. Mm-hmm. I have to go early, uh, that's it, I see, from Monday to Friday. Okay. Now let us think about, I have to receive the invoices. Okay, good. Now let us think about one activity that is not your obligation that someone else has to do it, but not you. So in this case, we are going to use it in negative. Okay. 
Okay. I don't have to attend clients. Okay. I don't have to attend. I don't have to work on weekends. I don't have to work on weekends. I don't have to sell products. Very good. I don't have to clean the office. Good. I don't have to receive debit notes. I don't have to write reports. I don't have to work on weekends. That's it, Rose. I don't have to write reports every day. But another coworker has to do this obligation, but not you. Okay, guys. Let us keep working on this, this general review. Ta 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 Let me see. Excuse me, excuse me. That I need to use this information. Okay. And um, this. Ahí está. It is because before doing the, the next exercise, I want you to work on these exercises que está relacionado con how much and how many. Let me see. I'm going to, I'm posting a link about some exercises using how much and how many. Uh, you have to click on the link and I want you to complete the exercises. And when you have finished, have the screenshot and post it please here in the chat box. And after that, we are going to continue with the following activity. You have to, the attendance, you have to click on the answers that you consider it is the correct, if it is A or if it is B. For example, days are the week. How much days are in the week? Ah, oh, this is not the answer, but I cannot continue. Okay, with that, okay? So, keep working on the rest.
Okay. Matthew, you've got 24 out of 30. Good. You got them correct, all correct, Berta? Because I can not see like the final score. Okay, Elsie, you got 29 out of 30. Good. Amanda, the ninety percent. Okay, three rounds. So, okay, solo sale twenty seven out of thirty, right? Patricia, you got 76%. Uh, Teacher, I sent the group. Did you send it to the chat book? To the to the WhatsApp? Yes. Okay, you got the eighty seven percent. Okay, good. Okay, guys. Okay. When you are finished, when you finish, please keep uh, posting your scores there in the chat box. Meanwhile, I'm going to start with the first time with the attendance, okay? <laughs> Okay. 
Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Jennifer is not here. Jennifer Aras, no, Jessica Araceli Díaz Rayos. Jessica Please. Carolina, okay. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Adilson. I see your name there, but you don't answer. Okay. Jose Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Just here. Carlina Lorena Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Liset Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Ahí está Kerin, ¿ok? Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present, teacher. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present teacher. Okay. And uh, Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Present. Okay, Amanda. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now we have a project to work with. Let me see. Mm -hmm. It is here. Okay, guys, we have a project. This is the media project we are going to have from the topics that we have studied through the whole unit one. I have, okay. In unit one, we have studied different topics such as, in a general way, we have a uh, topic such as how much with countable, uncountable, how many. Also, we have the structure have to, we have be going to, we have uh, can or can't for possibilities. What are we going to do in this moment? We are going to split uh, we're going to have different teams because this is a team project. And we are going to prepare one conversation in which we are going to include all these topics. All of them, they have to be in the conversation. Oh. And then all the topics. It is not that only one. No, you need to include all the topics. And uh, also, there are two things. One is the conversation. And second, it is that you need to prepare a presentation because you are going to talk about one of these topics. As I did with how much and how many. Remember, I was like showing you some examples. That's all. It doesn't matter that I have already explained because you are going to explain it in a different way. So, 
but each team will uh, present different topics. It is not that you are going to choose your topic. I am going to assign the topic for each team, right? So you have to prepare the conversation and also you have to present, a, a, you need to present a topic from the ones that we have in the list. Two activities in one. Questions. Por cada uno o una por grupo? Presentation, one per team. In conversation? One per team. Okay. Okay, so the same team is going to prepare the conversation and the presentation. Yes? Okay, yes. Okay, and now I'm going to say something. I'm going to um, divide the whole class in the same amount of students. Pero, let me check in this moment. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight listeners. But I am going to include you in the teams. If you do not participate, well, it is your decision, right? But I'm going to include you there. If there are five students and you do not participate, it is up to you, but you will be there, okay? Okay. Now I'm going to create the rooms. Let me see. Yeah, four different teams, one. Two, three, four. Okay. Take notes because I'm going to, we are going to have only four teams. And I'm going to tell you the first team, the first team, it is Lucia, Valeria, Remberto, and Rosa. You are going to work with the topic. How much and how many? Como un tema junto. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Team number two, Eric, Jessica, Diaz, Jose Adilson, Kenya, and Wilfredo, you are going to work with the topic have to. Y la negativa también. Okay? Don't have to. Okay, two at the same time. Tomar una nota? Yes? Yes? Someone is the, snoring. The, the, the topic, the yes. verb, the verb is the have. Have, have to? Have to? Um, I don't have I don't. to. Uh -huh. I have to and I don't have to. Two topics. It is one, pero positive and negative. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Team number three. Team number three goes for Wilmer, Maximiliano, Amanda, Berta, and Kenya. Van tres listeners acá y van dos que no son listeners. Así que, well, it is up to you. You are going to work with be going to. Be going to. Yes? Yes. Yes. Y Mateo, usted se puso ya como oyente, Mateo. Hello, teacher. Ahí le mandé un mensaje. Lo que pasa es que ahí ya me dejó patoja. 
Bueno, vamos a ver. Eh, en unos minutos voy a entrar a la sala. En la sala 4 me queda Carlina, Mateo, ben Elsa, Kerin y Patricia. Y solamente Elsa no está como oyente. Entonces, no sé si alguno va a querer um, apoyar a Elsie. Si nadie la apoya, Elsie, la voy a cambiar. Pero vamos a ver, voy a dejar, voy a abrir los, los Teams y la voy a cambiar a algún otro, algún otro equipo, ¿ok? Si deciden trabajar, los listeners, uh, you are going to work with Ken and Kent. Ken and Kent, ¿ok? Ese será su tema. Pero eso sí, chicos, para la conversación son todos los temas. Yes. Yes. Solo para la presentación de un tema es ese. But for the conversation, incluyen todos los temas. Okay, okay. So, uh, you will have around, let me see, 20 minutes to work with this. And then I'm going to be checking each team. Ya voy a entrar el de, eh, el de Elsie para verificar cómo vamos a trabajar, okay? Let us go and work, guys. Adilson, hello Adilson, Adilson, José Adilson, Adilson. Eh, teacher, solo yo estoy aquí. Mi corazón, ahí estoy viendo que... Sí. Este, Entonces, yo, yo sola can... lo puedo hacer, no se preocupe. ¿Can you do it, Ala? Sí, yo, yo solita voy a explicar el, el have to. Pero, ¿y para la conversation? Bueno, pues, en... no sé, entre yo solita no sé, porque <risa> nadie me enseñó. No, la voy a mandar a otro equipo. Okay. Amba. No, no, ya la voy a mandar con alguien más, no se preocupe. Solo que va a cambiar el tema, porque va a trabajar con el tema de los otros chicos, ¿ok? Anda, ya está bien.
Ah, el objetivo, también. el objetivo es que usemos el how many, el how much, el how to, el be going, y el can y el can't. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería entonces, you are going to work. Podemos preguntar el, el cuánto gana el, el precio para usar el home mall. Ajá, podríamos ah, decir sí. a cómo le pagan la hora extra. Y, de, y ella dice el valor. Y de, ajá, y luego... para escribirlo con mamás.
una opción donde dice pedir ayuda. Ah, ok, tiene la Ajá. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay. Este, Tenemos un... Dale, dale. Para, la, para la presentación, tiene que ser explicación eh, resumida o a profundidad. Intermedia. Ah, ok. Ok. No da okay. tip, pero tampoco tan superficial. Ok. okay. Eh, otra consulta. Eh, en este grupo solo estamos Roberto y yo. Activamente y no tenemos... sí. Sí, pero no tenemos computadora. Entonces yo le decía a él que podíamos mandar la presentación al WhatsApp y tal vez usted nos pueda ayudar a presentarlo. Ok. Ajá, porque no tenemos... Bueno, yo estoy desde mi teléfono y no se va a ver bien. Ok, no, pero sí se puede. Sí se puede del teléfono. Ok. okay. Pero, bueno, voy... if you want me to help, I'm going to help you. Ok. Ok, ok, teacher. Thank you. Ahí creo que me, ahí me tendría que haber preguntado, ¿verdad? ¿En you o what about you? No, me preguntas cuántas horas trabajo. Ah, pero How many hours? Se me había olvidado. How many hours? Ah, sí. Hours do you do you work, work ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you work? How many I hours do you work? work? I have to work only four hours today. But uh, tomorrow I have to work nine hours. How about you? In my case, I have to work eight hours today. And also I have sent an important email. And finally, I have to make five contracts for the clients. My God, I put you this Después de las horas de trabajo y de cuánto gano al, a la hora, ¿qué más podríamos agregar? ¿Qué yeah, haces en tu trabajo? El Jamén y el el Jamén. Ajá. El el Ken también. ¿Podrías hablarme eh, sobre...? Poner, podríamos poner con el, con el hub, este... ¿Hub tú? ¿Podrías...? Este... Pero bueno. Después podríamos preguntar en dónde la buena ella. ¿Podrías decirme el Kemba? ¿Podrías decirme dónde la buena Y ella viene utilizando el Ken. ¿Cómo dijo este? Y ahí le podríamos preguntar. O sea, mismo, si usted ya manda bien. El Ken. Ya está bien esa pregunta. Espéreme. Ah, puedes decirme tú dónde trabajas y ya viene utilizando el Ken. Ah, pues ese podría decirme dónde trabaja, sería quizás al inicio, para después preguntarle cuántas horas trabaja. Será. Sí, porque... Amanda, ya empecé a escribir usted, ¿no? ¿Hola? Ya empecé a escribir usted, ¿no? Ah... No. Yo, yo, yo tengo todo acá lo que has puesto ahí en el chat, pero ¿qué iba a escribir yo? <ríe> yo no sé. No sé, ya me bloqueé. <ríe> Ay, no. 
Vaya, entonces... Vaya, porque en la conversación ah, tenemos... Vaya, tenemos... Es que vaya, ahorita le, le pregunta las horas, vea. Ya dijimos how many, how much, if, se faltaría el have to. Y ahí le podría preguntar, ¿y qué haces en el trabajo? O, ¿Cuáles son tus obligaciones? Yo le puse ahí que si trabajaba el fin de semana. Ajá. You have to work. Y, y lo combiné con el, con el Ken de un solo. Mándalo si puede al chat. Ahí se lo mandé. No lo vemos. Ah. Bueno, yo no lo veo. Ah, sí, ya lo vi. Yo no lo veo. Y se lo mandé. No, teacher, no hemos terminado. Sí, todavía nos falta. También sabe que por eso ya. vengo a preguntar. No, no sé así todavía, ¿no? No, no okay, sí. ok, no, no, continue, continue working. Ok, yo sentía que me decía la teacher, regresen a la sala. Okay. Yo... Sí, yo guardo. No, no, no. No, keep working, keep working, don't worry. Okay.
to buy Christmas games on weekend. Yo creo que las tenemos todas. Vaya. Yes. Ahora tenemos que hacer la presentación. Esta del teléfono o de computadora. Del cel. ¿Y tienes computadora? No. Porque Está la mía se arruinó. Por... <ríe> uh, sí, okay. me se lo puedo compartir porque está bien saturado, pero... Si pero no... ves, si puedo hacer algo en, en línea. A ver. Voy a intentar en Drive. Vaya, ¿qué información podemos poner? Tenemos nuestro tema, es el can y el can't. Y dijo okay. que podemos utilizar ejemplos. A ver si puedo. Sí. Por ejemplo, nos podríamos preguntar como qué, qué deportes practicas. Mm, no, Algo en así, este o... caso ya no es este... Para, para... Bueno, para decir como hay que entrar. Ajá. Otra, o sería otra. Sí, esto es una presentación, por ejemplo, como una mini clase que nosotros vamos a dar de cómo usar el Ken y el Kent. Ok. Voy a, estoy descargando las presentaciones de Google para ver si logro trabajar desde aquí del teléfono. ¿Pero qué información vamos a poner? Ok. Vaya. Tengo acá. ¿Qué, ¿Qué lo podemos usar para? Por ejemplo. Para posibilidad o prohibición. Para hablar de habilidad, para hablar, para preguntar por algún permiso y para ofrecer ayuda.
para que no yo sería si, si yo puedo tengo acceso a ellas if I can I have access to team pero no sé porque sería si yo puedo solo deje lo mejor si yo puedo si yo puedo más Ajá, simple más yes simple. I can yes I can Sí, porque hay palabras que todavía no las podemos pronunciar bien. Vaya. Sí. Así. Ajá. Ya sé que. Hoy agregamos lo, el otro tema, que, que es el que nos toca en la diapositiva. En la presentación, que sería el, el going to. O uh -huh. el have to. El going to es el de nosotros. Bye. ¿Qué te parece si después de terminar de trabajar vamos por un postre o algo? No sé, que diga el going to. Ajá. Sí, la idea es, es que la conversación haya de, de todos los temas, pero fluido, ¿verdad? Pero que tampoco se desvíe tanto. Ajá, así ponle este... Do you si, like? gust si gustas, podríamos ir por un café a la salida. Ajá, le puedes poner do you like. Ahí le mandé. Ay, no sé qué. Y ahora, ah, acá está el chat. Ya. Estoy perdida. No, no se no. preocupe. A todos nos toca así. Estamos aprendiendo. Nada, no, es que como estoy co compartiendo pantalla, me, me confundo. Vaya, usted le dice, Kenia, wow, es interesante. Do you like going to take a coffee later? Claro que sí, podría responder usted. Perdón. Ajá, ¿qué más? Ahorita vamos, ahorita vamos. Ok, chicas, en todo caso, una invitación para ir a tomar café tendría que ser una estructura que se dice Would you like to? Would you like to? Podrías. Ajá. Podrías. No, exactamente, no sería el Ajá. pico. Would you to. like, es cierto. Ajá. Would cierto. you like to? To, to take a cup of coffee, pero no sería el Bitcoin to, ¿ok? Ay. <risa> ¿En qué forma? Teacher. Sí, yes. uh -huh. uh -huh. En español, ¿de qué forma es la, es la forma correcta para usar el going to? Ay, sí, porque es, mi cerebro le cuesta. Porque pronto. si le pongo vamos por un café, es I want o... No. El be going to es futuro. Es futuro de algo que usted ya decidió. Podríamos ir por Iremos un café. Por un café. <ríe> en todo caso, están tomando la decisión en el momento y entonces sería un will, pero la mejor es, 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 es la que ya, ya hicieron la invitación del café. Ahora bien, por ejemplo... ¿De qué es lo que estaban hablando anteriormente de la conversación? Porque una pregunta podría ser, ¿Are you going to go to, no sé, algún lugar a la reunión? ¿Are you going to go to San Miguel to the meeting? Ah, yes, I'm going to go. Eso es que ya va a ir porque ya preparó la reunión y ya tiene listo todo y se va. Ah, ah ya, yeah. sí, es como 
como de, de algo que ya está planeado. Exactamente. Futuro. Es futuro. Ok. Pues ah, pues hay que quitarlo del café entonces para poner eso. Chicas, revisaron lo que les mandé del Willy del Going to. No. Oh, no, no, Ahí no, les no. Mandé la imagen. Al chat. Sí, al chat. A mí no me sale no, nada. Ni a mí no, no, no sale nada. Este. Quizás no le ha dado en la, en la flechita para darle en vía. Eh, pero fíjese que en la, ahí mismo usted, donde dice enviar a, donde dice a, la opción de todos, ahí presiona y nos va a salir a las tres. Porque a mí no me sale. sale. Ahorita se lo voy a volver a mandar. Solo que selecciona la, la opción que le digo, valga la redundancia. Ah, no, 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 no es redundancia. Ahí está. Eh, para que nos, nos... Ya se las mandé a todos. Ahora ah, sí, la verdad. Ahora sí, ajá. Going to, for the moment, example, we will take a short life. Está bien. Bueno, yo lo veo bien. No sé qué dicen las demás. Hoy sí estamos listos. Hasta no, teacher. Quizás el... nos faltarían unos cinco minutos no, más. Ya casi Ay. termino la presentación. Eso me da okay. más tiempo. Okay. Okay. Five minutes and we solo, finish, right? Solo... Solo la conversación tenemos. Okay. ok, a las y 40, sí. ok? okay. A las 9.40 okay. volvemos okay. para la lista, ok? And then okay. you present, ok, okay good. Ok. Entonces hagamos algo, omitamos el, el párrafo que había dicho y, y digamos... ¿Y, ¿Y usamos eh, esos? Ajá, omitamos el párrafo y digamos, Ken tiene diferentes usos, Ken, Ken y Ken tienen diferentes usos, por ejemplo, for permission, example, mm -hmm. to us, you, you can use pencil, y what the assist, yo puedo decir los últimos cuatro o los primeros tres, como sea. Bien. Ajá. Okay. Yo puedo decir, si queréis, yo digo los últimos cuatro. Y yo voy a decir los primeros. Ok, guys. Um, take into consideration that we are going to come back at 9.40. So it means just four more minutes and we are coming back.
Okay. Now that you have had a really hard class, now I would like to, let me see. Uh, we had uh, three different rooms. At the beginning, they were four, but then I moved one person to a different team. And so we got only three different teams. So we have team number one, Remberto and Rosa, room num team number two, um, Amanda Berta Kenya, and uh, team number four, Osvaldo and um, Elsa. Who wants to begin? Nosotros. Ok, Osvaldo, thank si you. Se puede, con él. Of course. Sí, solo que, solo que no pudimos generar la presentación porque estamos los dos desde el celular. Entonces, le vamos a compartir la imagen al el WhatsApp. Sí, pues, si se puede. Ok, let me see. So you haven't done it yet, right? Sí, ahí va. Pero al inicio tenemos la conversación. Solo le voy a mandar la imagen para que la tenga. Ok, can, it, can it you share it to the chat box here? It is easier for me in this moment. Ok, Elsa, puedes enviar la imagen al chat. Y acá. Y que a mí no me cargan las imágenes al mandarles aquí. Hola, hola. Elsie, can you share the image to the chat box? ¿Cuál, teacher? La de la presentación. Solo la imagen, la, del, la de los usos para... Ya para lo último que vamos a hacer. Y así iniciamos con la conversación en este momento. Es que no puede entrar de regreso a esta sala. Ah, ok. Ahorita. Hello, Elsa. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Hello, Osvaldo. How are you? And you? I'm fine, too. Okay. Are you going to work today? Yes, I'm going to work at 11 a.m. Okay. How many hours do you work? I have to work only four hours today, but tomorrow I have to work nine hours. How about you? In my case, I have to work eight hours today. And also I have to send an important email. And finally, I have to make five contracts for the clients. Oh, you have to do many things. Yes, I am going to be a busy day. But on weekend, we can go to the mall because I want to buy Christmas things. Okay, that sounds good. And how much money do you want to spend? I can spend a lot of money, but I can spend $50. Okay, we're going to buy Christmas things on weekend. Okay, see you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and, and then now we are going to talk a little about the model can and can't which has different type of uses um, but uh, quiero ver si puedo compartir la imagen sí, yeah. okay. Okay. Oops, ah, pero casi no se ve chicos 
Sí. Es por la definición, pero I think that you can understand, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Osvaldo. Okay. okay. Can you first? For... A... Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> it's a one of verb, a modal verb. Uh, we use can uh, to ask for a uh, give permission. For, for example, you can use my pencil. You can give me uh, money. <laughs> and also, you can, we use can uh, for ability to talk about ability to do uh, in the in the present or future. For example, we can dance very well. Uh, also, we use can to general truths to talk about the is that usually true, not always. Exercise can help reduce stress. And an, another type of uses, and another type of uses are for possibility, to express possibility. He can guess why she is angry. Another use is for requ request, to make requests in questions. For example, can we have her address for offer? To make offers in questions, for example, can I do anything for you? And for suggestion, to make suggestion, for example, if you want, if you want, we can drink coffee. Only that. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Okay, let me look for my reaction. Reactions. Okay, very good. Okay, very good, guys. Thank you. Next team. Next team. <laughs> Here, teacher. Okay, Rose. Ya le mandé la presentación en video o en PowerPoint, no sé cuándo la doy. ¿A dónde lo mandaron? WhatsApp. Pero es que, ah, bueno, aquí se me está complicando al WhatsApp. ¿No lo pueden proyectar ustedes? Voy a intentarlo. Okay, if you do me the favor, please. Toma. Okay, voy a intentar. I don't know if anybody else has uh, the the conversation ready. Okay. okay. What you I... what what you can do in this moment, Rose, is just turn it Hola? turn it turn it around. Solo solo gírelo el teléfono, okay, and then it's please. going to be greater. Already. That's it. That's it. Ay, no me dejes para atrás. <risa> Permiso. Ok. Eh, talking about the... How many and how much. Okay. How many and how much. Ok. Contable and uncountable. Okay. Use the how many and how much. How much and how many 
and use the ads about the quantities and almost use the with uncountable things and how many with countable things. Okay. Almost samples. <laughs> How much uh, use with contest things, meat, stress, honey, sugar, milk, water, wine, things accountable or that no, they can be measured and also waiting to know prices. Okay, more examples. How much rice? do i have to buy how much sugar do you take with your tea how much water is there in the glass okay question and answer using how much how much money do you need i need 20 dollars for the day How many examples? Okay, how many use with countable things? For, for example, friends, students, carrots, cucumbers, dresses, books. In a few words, we can know the exact amount of each, each thing. Okay, more examples. How many eggs do you need for the cake? How many candles do you need for the cake? How many bed bedrooms are there in the apartment? In the more examples, question and answer using how many. How many cats do you have? I have nine cats. And Thanks for your attention. Okay. We are missing only the conversation, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's go, Robert. Okay. Um, are you ready? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Hi, Rose. It's good to see you again. Hi, Roberto. I am very nice. Thanks. So, what are you doing here in Metro Centro? Oh, I have to buy um presents for my best friends. Really? Yes, but I don't know how much the Shane's clothes cost. Um, good question. But what are you looking for? Um, mm, this maybe. But I want to know how many blue jeans are in the store. Uh, it's very good and it's uh, sorry, uh, me perdí. <laughs> it's very good. And do you need uh to buy jeans today? Mm, I am going to buy jeans in the other mall. Oh yes, you can buy then in another mall in another store too. No, I can't because I like I like the change chlor Oh, oh, good. So very good luck and good to see you. Okay, thank you. Take care. Okay, That's it. very good, very good. Okay. <laughs> Exclusively, right from that place. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> Okay. No, but that is okay. Very good. And now the last time, the last team, Berta's team. Yes. Yes. <laughs> eh, no sé si están listas también, Kenya y Amanda. Yes. Yes. Bye. Ah, no sé si me el pero nosotros igual, teacher, no estamos a través de computadora, pero todas sí tratamos de, de hacer la conversación juntas. Y verte, no sé si va a compartir la imagen que usted, que usted desarrolló. 
Ya está en el chat. Eh, ok, hagan la conversación y yo voy a compartir la imagen. Later. ¿O es de la conversación? Sí, la conversación es la que mandamos. Ah, Ahí está, le dice Kenia y Amanda. Ahorita la voy a enviar las dos. Vamos, si gusto, no sé si preguntas en la conversación o el significado del going to. La conversación, si quieren. Ah, muy bien. Very good. Le cedo la palabra a mis compañeras Amanda. Y... Sí, okay. Hi Amanda, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, I have a question, uh, Kenya. How many hours do you work today? I work eight hours a day from Monday to Friday. Do you oh. work on Saturday? Uh, no, I I haven't I haven't to work on weekends. <laughs> And how much and and how much do you earn per month? I earn uh four thousand dollars a month. Could you tell me where do you work? I work at the bank. Can you see the bank account of your customer? Yes, I can. Wow, it's history. Hey, by the way, are you going to drink a coffee? Do you like to do you like to go come with me? Yes, I would like to go. Thank you. Finish. Okay. <laughs> Good. De ahora les vamos a explicar qué es el going to. Y igual como no teníamos acceso a computadora, pero aquí está la prueba de que la he hecho en el cuaderno. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, they're going to they're going to use the convey idea or action in the future. Is structure is subject, verb to be, going, verb must complement. Going to is used in affirmative, negative, and question. Some examples are affirmative. I am going to visit my father tomorrow. He is going to play football on Saturday. Negative. I am not going to eat tonight. They aren't going to buy a house. Inter oh, question. Is she going to drive here? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Are you going to come tonight? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Eh, Berta, no sé si va a continuar usted. Okay. The going to is similar to will, but the will used in the recession of the moment. Example, I will come to sleep of the minute uh, and they're going to use the future in the seas. For example, I'm going to shopping tomorrow. That's it. Finish. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good, ladies. Good try. Good try. I like it. Thank you very much. Now I, because I didn't react to any, uh, to all teams. Let me see. Let me check if I can find them. Here, I do have the reactions. Okay. So, good for you, guys. Okay. The only, the, the last thing, guys, it is that I want you to, I want you to complete the first week of exercises from the platform, right? All, all the activities are going to be similar 
to what you have done in this moment. Exercise about be going to, exercises about can or can't, exercises about have to or I don't have to. All the exercises are based on this. So please try to work on those exercises. Uh, if you haven't done them yet, try to do it during this uh, weekend. And next week, we are going to start with the third week, right? So uh, right. with the second week and then new assignments, right? Para que no los vayan acumulando. Otherwise, se les va a hacer un cúmulo muy grande. Okay, guys. Now, just let us... Lista? Yes, in this moment. Okay, Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Teacher, Jessica. Yo tenía problemas de internet. Um, ok. Sí, me ha extrañado porque siempre se conecta Jennifer. Ok. Gracias. Jessica okay. Araceli Díaz Ruballos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Just here, just here. Carlina Lorena Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisette Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia El Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica. Yes. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Yes. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Good. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present and good night. Okay, good night. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Y Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Present. Okay, guys, I really appreciate your participations and your exercises. Have a nice weekend. Okay, and have a nice weekend. Next Monday. Next Monday. See you next, see you next Monday. See you okay, next week. bye bye. Take care. Bye.